Today's Witchy Wednesday is going to be a little bit of an explanation of our altar space here. We are missing some items that we got. Um, they just haven't arrived yet. So I will explain those once they eventually get here. But for now, you kind of get to see what we've got going on here for our little fertility altar. Um, so I'm going to start kind of left to right. You can actually see this is also where we keep our, you know, our medications, all of our other stuff goes here just to kind of be imbued with uh, some good positive energy. So to start off, we've got my aloe plant, which I've been growing for a while now, and I really need to repot the little pups in it, which are these little new babies. But I thought it was a great thing to put near our altar because, you know, we've got the big mama plant all these little baby plants it's so fertile and it's growing so well and it was a really good energy to keep beside our uh, our altar and then we have a pair of our special good luck socks they've got pineapples on them caitlin's got a few pairs that are kind of different but also have pineapples we wore them for the egg retrieval day oh, it's got some fuzz on it the cat likes to sleep up here she's very very big on the altar the pineapples are good luck obviously because of the um the idea that you can eat pineapple core to kind of help with your fertility and with implantation we, we just really liked it the little scarf that i used on the fertility altar so that's purposeful as are the colors um of the tablecloth underneath which is actually a shower curtain not a tablecloth <laughs> uh so green blue pinks those are all very uh, fertile colors. They're considered to be um, associated with fertility and with growth. So those are all things we kind of wanted to promote on the altar as well. You'll notice there's a lot of pinks and greens happening here. Pinks, greens, yellows, a lot of naturally occurring colors. Over here and um, spread out we have crowley shells. So these, for very obvious reasons, and they'll become apparent when I show you, obviously not, uh, you know, I don't want to assign them to women specifically. Not all women can or want to get pregnant. Um, and there are obviously men that can get pregnant. So we don't want to like really assign feminine, masculine energies to things, but we really identified with Crowley shells. We really liked it. We liked because both of us have vaginas it was kind of a um, it, it felt right for us so it's not hard a hard and fast rule um, it's about what kind of feels right for you too but these do have an association with fertility so we liked that we've got a couple just a couple of my stones in here a couple of the ones I really like that smoky quartz we have some citrine I I tend to just keep these on the altar at all times they don't really have a very specific um, specific association I would say the ones that have the, the most specific association on the altar right now our rose quartz and quartz in general they're kind of a good all-purpose stone uh, rose quartz in particular is my favorite um, I have rose quartz pretty much everywhere in the house it's down in the kitchen it's in windows it's just a crystal that I find I really identify with um, it just has always really spoken to me in fact I'm one of my fondest wishes is to get a nice big rose quartz sphere um, and have that because I want it so bad. <laughs> As you can see, we've lined out five, um, five of our crystals, five of my stones, um, and five Crowley shells. We currently, if you've been kind of following our Instagram, we'll probably do an update about it soon if we haven't already. Uh, we have five um, little fertilized eggs in play right now, and we are really crossing our fingers and our toes and everything, sending out all our good vibes that those move on to the five day blastocyst stage. Uh, so we're trying to send out that positive energy and really focus on that and focus on, you know, it's a little rare, but try and focus all our energy on all five making it and just uh, put that into the universe. Back here, we have some little rabbits. We have a couple more coming in. Um, some that our friends are sending us. Rabbits are a very obvious fertility symbol. Uh, for so many reasons and we really love we just love being able to use them on our altar they actually I, I find them to be quite cheerful and quite happy they just bring such a nice energy this is caramel we actually bring him to a lot of our fertility um, our fertility appointments Caitlin had him um, during her recovery from her egg retrieval everyone loved it everyone thought it was just the cutest thing oh hello um, 
Calm down. We like that they're looking after our little our little egg representation on on the altar. Um, this is my little cauldron. I actually found this at a thrift store, if you can believe it, which is fantastic. I'm actually gonna, usually I have rice in here because I use rice to um, clear and charge my crystals. I like to use it to absorb kind of like the negative energy out of my crystals. I also use it to uh, stick my incense in, as you can also see. We tend to use lavender incense more than anything on this altar. It's very calming for both of us, very peaceful. And that's just kind of the vibe we want. Nice, calm, peaceful, fertile vibes. Obviously some, some nice fake flowers. I wish we had some real flowers on here, but I mean, they just keep dying, so. I think our entire altar is a pretty good testament to the fact that, you know, you can, obviously we, we bought the Crowley shells. Um, I've collected and bought our crystals and, you know, the, the little new bunny is new, but a lot of this stuff is thrifted or uh, we've used things that we had in the past. You don't have to put a lot of money into your altar. You don't have to put a lot of money into your practice in order for it to be valid. And I think that's something that a lot of people tend to kind of forget. So yeah, that's our, that's our little altar space. It's been really lovely to have this here. We did all of Caitlin's injections in here and being able to light our incense and have the altar here kind of with us and being able to set that positive intention while we were doing our injections was just so valuable to us. You know, if you wanna create an altar, a fertility altar, it can look any way you want to. If you really want uh, fertility correspondences, so things that really represent fertility, um, obviously any of the things that you see here do, uh, the colors that I mentioned, but really it's about what, what represents fertility to you. If you have an old baby blanket that you'd like to use as your altar shawl, then you can do that. Um, a, a pacifier, you can use any plant you'd like. Really honestly, your altar is so personal and it's, and it's about what makes you feel confident and what makes you feel intentional. Now, if you have an altar or if you're going to make an altar, we would absolutely love to see it. If you want to post it to Instagram and tag it with hashtag my fertility altar, and we'll take a look at it and maybe even feature it if you'd like on our Instagram. I love the idea of a community effort, everyone being able to see each other's altars and get ideas from each other. I just really love that. So if that's something you'd like to do, feel free to participate. All right, that about wraps it up for Witchy Wednesday. You didn't really get to see my face today. I know, it's such a shame. <laughs> we'll keep you updated when we find out our day three results and our day five results. But until then, we'll talk to you later. Love ya.